Top 5 Facts About Sarah Kane Religion Sarah Kane's parents were devout evangelists and Kane herself was a committed Christian in adolescence. Later, however, she would reject her religious beliefs, leading to the many atheists' views in much of her work. Medication She struggled with sewer depression for much of her short adult life and was twice admitted to a psychiatric facility in London. Often reluctant to take antidepressants, she would tell her theatrical agent she didn't like taking pills because they numbed her response to the world. Her death While Kane was under psychiatric care and surveillance at Brunel Ward, a nurse discovered that she was no longer in her hospital bed. The nurse forced open the door to the nearest toilet where she found Sarah Kane hanging by her own shoelaces. She was 28 years old. At the inquest into her death, it was stated that the time between her last being seen alive in her bed to her physical time of death was less than three minutes. Harold Pinter's Friendship The playwright Harold Pinter knew Kane personally and remarked how he was not surprised to hear the news of her death. She talked about it a great deal, remarked Pinter, and then added, she was a poet. She felt men's inhumanity to men so profoundly, I believe that's what finally killed her. Criticism During Kane's career as a playwright, many critics saw her work as part of a confrontational style and sensibility of drama termed in-your-face theater, with Sarah Kane herself being coined as the quintessential in-your-face writer of the late 1990s. But in retrospect, many journalists have recounted their old views on her work, expressing just how rare and remarkable she really was.